Hey guys, just a quick overview on uh, the brakes that are going to be going on my E91 wagon, uh, my 2011 rear wheel drive wagon. These are 135i calipers with EBC red stuff pads um, using OEM 135i rotors, uh, sorry, OEM sizing, um, not OEM. BMW manufactured rotors, but um, the rears are um, also an aftermarket brand, Dynamic Friction, which I will put a part number in the description. Um, I feel like you don't see a lot of cars, a lot of E90, E92, E91 running these brakes because the rears are, the rear rotors are pretty expensive. Um, OEM rotors are pretty expensive, $200 plus per rotor. Um, I did some cross-referencing and managed to find an aftermarket uh, company that is still making the 324 millimeter size dimpled rotor that comes um, on the OEM sport package brakes, which is essentially this exact same setup except for powder-coated yellow instead of this OEM um, gray color that came on the 135i. So um, again, I'll put the part numbers in the description, but um, this is a very budget big brake kit for my E91. Not going for the most expensive here. Um, I know the pistons can crack on these 135i calipers. So this is just a daily driver, looking for something that looks good, functions pretty well I'm not going to be taking it to the track so um, this is what we're going to be throwing on the car so the first things we're doing um, we're going to take this rotor hat screw out mine unfortunately was seized stripped uh, tried all the usual methods of hammering in an impact allen what have you uh, it didn't work so i ended up drilling the head off of that uh, it didn't take too long so we'll get the rest of that out of there uh, once we get the rotor off but um, I took the anti-rattle clip off here. We're going to undo the brake sensor, which is right here. And then what you're going to do is use a line wrench on this brake line, and you're gonna at least um, get it loose before we take the um, caliper off the carrier bracket. When you get to the point of putting the 135i caliper on with the 135i retaining bracket or caliper bracket, um, there's going to be a lot of people online that say remove the whole dust shield or trim it, but they're not going to show exactly what to trim. This is how much is trimmed um, from the top and from the bottom. There's a contour right here. It is just a small amount right here. Um, I used tin, tin snips. If you're not sure what tin snips are, here's what they are. Cheap, Harbor Freight, Home Depot, Lowe's, whatever. Um, tin snips makes quick work of this. So just a small notch and it'll all make sense. Um, it allows the caliper to clear this. That way you can keep this uh, dust shield. So starting on the rears, you can see uh, I've got the old caliper just off um, before I undo the brake lines, I'm just kind of doing a fit check here. The heat shield for the rear doesn't touch anywhere. The rear 135i caliper just bolts directly up. Um, no modification to the heat shield needed at all. It's a little tight, but I think that's similar to the stock calipers. So we'll get the rotor on. This is what the caliper and rotor looks like all installed pretty clean uh, definitely not in love with the red from the EBC pads but that's all right won't be able to see too much of it so just a little update um, of course every project has you run into little things that are difficult this one in particular is in order to put this line, uh, this flexible hose onto the caliper, um, 
you need to undo the hard line. Now, I went to undo my hard line, and it's a little difficult to see, but the hard line itself is rotating. It is seized um, just from some corrosion. This nut will not spin, so it is twisting the hard line, compromising it. So um, today, I am replacing the hard line. It goes under the subframe. It's not particularly difficult to get to, but that is the option. Now, if you hadn't been like me and compromised this hard line by trying to undo it, you could simply remove the caliper from this hose, if that makes any sense, you know, uh, loosen this up and then undo the caliper from the hose, which is ultimately what I did. But um, this hose is just too compromised and it needs to be changed. So um, I want to change it, going to do it right. Last thing we want is for that thing to bust. So I'm going to get on it. As you can see, the end of this is just seized. It's just corroded, seized. When it gets to this point, just cut it off. Use the tin snips from the earlier part of the video. Just cut it off. Uh, that way you're not twisting that hard line under the subframe going all over. So cut it off, get it out, get it replaced. Part two of fix things while you're in here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm replacing this wheel hub assembly while I'm here. So it's pretty simple. We're going to take the two 18 millimeter bolts off of the caliper carrier. Um, zip tie that up, use a hook, whatever, to get it up out of the way. And then there are four bolts. Um, one, two, three, and four. You can see on the back side, got three removed, and then the fourth is right above this ABS sensor. I highly suggest using a torch just on the bolt heads here. As you can see, these have red Loctite, and when you heat them up with the torch, it kind of kind of helps loosen that up a little bit. But they are extremely tight, but not not really challenging to get to, to be honest. So once those bolts are out, once this last bolt's out, this wheel hub assembly just pops right off. Put the new one on. I'm just updating this build uh, for the big brake kit. It's been about 4,000 miles and I've put uh, a good amount of time on this big brake kit. Thought I would give you uh, just my impressions on it. Looks awesome. Quite a few, quite a few compliments um, on this setup. really turned out good I know a lot of people ask you know do they bite harder than normal um, I think the EBC red pads do bite harder than the OEM setup that this car came with they dust significantly less I would say it's on par with uh, Akabono ceramic pad um, as you can see, the rear rotors here got a little rusty. I guess that's what you get when you buy some cheaper rotors and don't paint them, coat them first. So, um, words of wisdom, do that. Definitely going to have to take those off and, and paint those at some point. But the calipers look great. Nice finish look. I think ultimately the F30 big brake kit would be a lot easier. I think it's the F30 um, would be a lot easier or is it F80? One of the two. All I know is that there is an easier option for a big brake kit out there. But these look awesome. No regrets. 
I run this car up and down the highway every day just to work and it really uh, really has been great you'll read a few things online about coating the sport brake option when you put these on I did not do that I have not done that so far um, it's supposed to add a little bit of pressure I believe with like the master uh, or the ABS or something um, not really sure I'm an iPhone user so uh, I don't have the, the app on my phone to quickly edit um, coding but that is on the list but I have not seen any degradation of braking quality with these bigger brakes so yeah definitely recommend if you're uh, down for a journey and a project I think all in I'm at $1,500 for these brakes calipers rotors pads uh, the calipers found used on marketplace and eBay uh, obviously the pads were new but yeah as far as a budget big brake kit can't really ask for uh, much better looks awesome let me know if you have any questions I can try to answer them best of my abilities I'll go ahead and put some part numbers in the description for the parts that I've used but yeah thanks for watching